What's up guys, Bob here. Welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Ball Raging Blast 2. And now that we have conquered all the main villains in the story, it is time to move on to the villain side of the- or villain side. <laughs> Alright, screwing up the intro. Moving on to the, the movie side of things. We are now doing the movie villains because there's no original movie characters outside of just the fusions if you want to count them. It's a really weird, funny thought. But anyway, yeah, so today we're- um. I know that Nigel voted last time for Zonga, but I do want to hit these in a rough actual order. So we're going to go Turles, uh, Andrew 13, Zonga, uh, Bojack, and maybe if there's time tonight, Super Janemba. I don't know if we're going to have that much time, but eh, you know, it's, we'll, we'll see what we can do. And also, oh Jesus Christ, the henchmen for the movies. <laughs> okay. If I'm being honest here, yeah, I don't think you need to include 14, 15, Salsa, Nezu, and Dore. Like, I think that is probably a bit overkill, but hey, more content's more content. I guess I can't complain too much. It's just like, man, I think we probably should have capped it there. I also was thinking about this yesterday, like, man, okay, so I'm thinking about other henchmen that could have been included. And my mind went to fucking Garlic Jr. I was thinking to myself, you know who actually would be kind of good villain, like, mooks to include in these games? The ones from the filler arc for the Dead Zone arc, you know what I'm talking about? Like the arc that Team Four Star did not animate. Like there's one femboy looking uh, henchman that basically is salsa, but is not, and becomes super muscular with everyone else. It's a really weird arc where everyone's like becoming buff as shit as a power up. I don't know, weird arc. Anyway, so today we're gonna focus on Turtles. Um. Yeah, it's unfortunate we were talking in chat a minute ago, and it's sad that there's actually not a lot of of games where some of the upcoming characters even appear in. For example, pretty sure this is the last game Zanya is going to be appear appearing in that's on a console. Well, if you don't count uh, Heroes, obviously, because Hero is just a wacky fucking game. Budokai 3 visuals, yo. Anyways, go ahead and rock it begin. Uh, Turles is also no longer held, by, held back by the fact that, you know, he's... <laughs> <laughs> Three heavy finishes. Oh man, those were good times. Not terribly. Also, this is a huge round. Holy shit. Damn, this is more than I thought it would be. Also, in before last one is also up against Frieza. I can believe that. Who the fuck else is a oh, Bardock? Eh, I guess I can believe it. Alright, let's just go ahead and rock and roll. Um, so yeah, I know nothing about him in this game. He did have that gimmicky upgrade system back in uh, BT3, but ever since then, I know practically nothing about him, personally speaking. Uh, let me roll back down a little bit. Like about... Here. Okay. Alright, let's go ahead and rock and roll. So, supers, what we got? Actually got stuff. Well, some things. Uh, Kill Driver, Food Tree, and my Already got the major hits out of the way, so that's gonna be pretty cool. I wonder if the volley still makes no sound effects. It'd be kind of funny. Anyway, time to bully uh, every single one of the Z characters because that's just what we do. Uh, I wouldn't recommend that. Oh, you know what? I wonder if Turtles here is supposed to represent like all the all the villains I brought with him, like including the weird twins he had. That was super, super kind of weird. All right, hold up. All right. Oh, I completely whipped that. Hold up. Uh, uh, I uh, just press X there. Do we have easy follow-ups? Yes, we do. But it's downwards, damn it. Will this work at all? Eh, yeah, but the hitbox is way smaller from what it looks like. Ah, oh, fuck, who, does, who voices Charles now again? I completely forget. Actually, Charles is voice actors. I'm completely blanking on because he did get dubbed by Ocean back in the day from the movie. I don't know what they did for the... Oh, Jesus, that full circle. I don't know what they did for the new movie that was dubbed by Funimation. Actually, I'll be honest here, I don't think I've ever watched the dubbed movies from Funimation for the original three. I think I've only ever watched the old Ocean dub. He felt okay in BG3 not top tier for sure. Oh, God, no. He had some fun gimmicks about him in BG3. He was pretty cool. It's just a shame those upgrades you got for him. With the fruit of the tree of might, completely expired when you use a suit, a blast two attack. So yeah. If you bow down me and apologize, Curls have really soft and. Oh, I kind of see that too. You know what it is? I think they might have just literally uh, lifted Goku's model, uh, for base form, and just like reskinned it practically. 
Anyway, what's his signature? The signature was kind of weird before. It's like a charging move almost. All right, so this is gonna be interesting because I, I don't know about you, but I've noticed frequently in BT3 that a lot of his moveset seems to focus on like knee strikes. So I'm like, is he a kickboxer? I've never gotten to conveyance like otherwise. It's just really wacky. Not a bad thing. It's just like, it's rare that you reach a certain point in the series. And you can, you can notice like more distinct fighting styles. I mean, you guys obviously interesting. I guess you do get to extremes like Super Boo with like distorting your whole body and not really having a set pattern, but I don't know. Near Death Star 3. Oh my God, I'm so glad we got all of these. I don't think we have all of them, but definitely feels like a good majority of them. Uh, that one. Oh, by the way, for everyone on YouTube right now, if I if I sound not as like loud as I usually am, uh, it's like 10 p.m. my time. Uh, I've mentioned this at the top of the prior of uh, the Star stream, but long day. Had to cover a thing for raging Bla for Storm Generations, so tonight's stream is gonna be a little bit on the short side in terms of like what we're actually recording. Of course, it doesn't matter for YouTube because everything is like posted in chunks anyway, but you know. And anyway, I think I can do this. Ah, I didn't have enough. Alright, so what's the volley look like? Aw, oh, it had sound effects. That might sound really weird, but like I do how I like how it's portrayal in BT3 where it's like it's completely silent for it, so it somehow like makes the it makes his energy volley just more unique in that regard. It's really hard to describe. Oh yeah, multiples, right? Android 14 and 15 are not in future games. Oh, I could have guessed that one in, uh, like just out the gate. <laughs> I don't think it requires any elucidating at all. For that matter, is... Okay. Still have not finished Delverse 1 even. I know. I'm going to get roasted by uh, everyone for this. Ooh, that's a nice combo. Is even 13 in any future games? Because he's not in. Oh, wait, no. Some of his moves, I think, are create character moves in Ultimate Tenkaichi, but is he even a thing in Xenoverse at all? Like, legitimately asking here. I actually don't know offhand. Xenoverse 2? <laughs> you know, given enough time with um, Xenoverse 2's DLC, and it'll just like. You'll have every single character ever in that fucking game. Jesus. I'm of torn opinions of, of Xenoverse 2's continued support. On the one hand, it is cool. The game has content. Obviously, more content is always a good thing, depending on the series. But on the other hand, it's just like, it feels like you're just kind of not trying to address underlying issues with the game. You know what I mean? I wonder why the stereotypical androids on the future games. I know, weird. The racist black stereotype androids in the future games? You don't say. Why don't you come with me? I don't know, it's really hard to, like... Then again, Android 14, I don't think, was uh, designed by uh, Toriyama, I'd be willing to bet. Ooh, this is a sick combo, yeah. I don't know, it doesn't feel like Toriyama is racist, but... On the other hand, you see some stuff like Mr. Popo, and it's like, well, it is easy to tell you are based off of something else entirely. It's also just like, there's a lot... I don't know. I think he's more sexist than racist, honestly. Like, and even then, probably just more cultural shit. I'd be willing to bet. Also, you tell what's up. <laughs> the, the, okay, I'm pretty sure she was inadvertently really good. I, I mean, I say that despite the fact that she can do literally everything in the game that you could ever want. Like, just a full set of lows, damage for days. Yeah. Anyway, what do you do? Uh, 120 seconds. Got it. Anyway, have we, we haven't used his ultimate yet. The pun, like, the star of the show has not been seen so far. <laughs> no more monkeys. You're Frieza? What happened to your appearance? Oh, yeah. He hasn't seen for, uh, for a second there. I thought he was looking at Mecha Frieza. Like, okay, I can understand that. But final form, oh, yeah. Yeah, see, that's what I was thinking, too. It's like, 
Those are just things that are kind of like just like a cross-cultural alliance. Like, obviously, one thing that you see will mean something else entirely for a different set of people. I'm looking way too deep into this right now, by the way. For a series with, um, sometimes just magical poops as, uh, punchlines. Anyway, we might be able to kill him outright. Just reset. Oops. Holy shit, it's unblockable. Because I was definitely holding guard there. Ow. Ah. He's nimble. That is so crazy, by the way. That's just completely unblockable. I mean, I imagine it's not actually busted, considering you could probably manual time and escape. But if you don't know what that is, that's kind of kind of gruesome. Would you consider that a knowledge check? I think I'd consider that a knowledge check. If anyone doesn't know what... Yeah, it's definitely a knowledge check. If you don't know exactly what I mean, but when I say something is, is a knowledge check, it's sort of like a more fighting game terminology where a thing is considered super gimmicky and is considered only strong if you don't know what the answer is. Um, like capo characters in older Tekken games, namely, if you don't sidestep them in the correct direction, stuff like that. It's something that like seems super strong on its face, but like if you know the like the solution, like you you got it. Um, I know some like there's still like some knowledge check characters that are regarded like that in Tekken itself. I think Eddie Gordo still is. Like he's not actually strong anymore at all. He's actually fairly moss in all honesty. But, like, people still call him a knowledge check because, like, no one uses them. So, like, one time you ever find them online, it's like, okay, I gotta remember this, these answers from, like, an exam from, like, five years ago. And if you lose against them, then congratulations, you still... Then don't worry, you'll you'll uh, worry about it again in, like, two years' time. It's like Bob in Tekken Online right now. Holy shit. Because whenever I play online, it's always Paul, Kazuya, and Kings. If you want to know what a knowledge check is, play against Testament and Plus Art. <laughs> Wait, no, Testament is an actual top tier character, though, is, uh, isn't he? I, I'm saying, obviously, the pronoun for um, Plus Art. I, I know Testament is a they, them, and Strive. In fact, I'm trying to learn them, funny enough. Fun character. Nice for days. Kiara recover, sick. I told you, Peter, you can't handle they, them, pussy. I can't do a Peter Griffin voice, though. I don't know. Oh, wait, which one's wrong? It's the... Oh. Uh, how many seconds can you find near death? Oh, okay. Wait, hold up. Opponents are a raging soul. So you want me to go up at, at this guy with one HP while he's a raging soul. Okay, I see how it is. Uh, health I'll recover, I think, is a little too much. I think we can drop this and maybe get enough for it. Yeah. Health I'll recover, there we go. I don't know, why are I thinking of a knowledge check in some fighting games? Like, there's a couple that do come to mind. Um, I say, like, Valdo and Soul Calibur. Genuinely good character in some games, but completely gutted in others. Uh, Yoshimitsu. Fundamentally not a strong character at all in Tekken, but still is able to get you with, like, so many different options and mix-ups. Is there any characters I actually use that are considering knowledge checks sometimes? Um, hmm. It's a great question, actually. I guess Lars. I mean, I love me some Lars because, like, combos for days looks like Goku and it's actually pretty fun to use. Oh, fuck. But, like, no, the usage for him is so fucking low because it's so bad. I, I guess that's my example of, like, me using a knowledge check character. And yeah, if they don't know how to match up, like, you can fuck with them so hard. Those moves are mostly knowledgeable checks. Really? I, I swore that people considered Testament to be top tier in, uh, old, um, uh, double X. Or namely plus, the version that plus R is used. Anyway, I need to buy myself some time in order to create some buffer room here. I'm glad we mostly have, okay, you know what? 
these kinds of matches, these are knowledge checks. Because it's like you have the, if you have the setup, you're basically one. Oh fuck, he's almost dead though. Do I have a faster image? I don't think I do. No, I suppose wave. Oh, I see. You, you, he is still a war criminal, but he's mostly a knowledge check. Got it. I don't know what people consider Zappa in um, old Guilty Gear, but like she seems like a knowledge check mostly. Am I thinking of Zappa? Or am I thinking of that wacky possessed dude? I think I'm putting that wacky possessed dude. No, I'm talking. I'm talking about Guilty Gear. Also, no, Nightmare and Soul Calibur is definitely not a knowledge check. He is fundamentally actually pretty good in a lot of games. All right, did we get airing? Hey, we did. Cool. <laughs> There's been some fucking missions. If you haven't been keeping up with the Let's Play so far, for everyone on YouTube, um, where a lot of them, these fucking, like, survival missions, wonderful memory, okay, don't need that. Also, fucking ace. Good. Art style. Damn. Also, we're almost done here. Holy shit. <laughs> okay. Power up to the extreme? Yeah, that should be too bad. <sighs> I was thinking about something. Fuck me. Uh, oh, also, hold up. I'm good to go with that. Um, There we go. Brain's farting super hard. But no, I actually am trying to learn Testament. And, um, What I'm trying to do to avoid burnout from using from learning a single character and hyper fixating on them. Like, I feel like I kind of did with Anna in Tekken 7. Oopsie. Um, I'm trying to learn Biken and Testament concurrently right now in Strive because I feel like if I'm able to... I can focus on learning one character and then I feel like if I'm getting bored, I can switch to the other one. Truthfully, I feel like I can, I can probably do well with Biken by now if I actually... What the? Oh, command may point blank. Okay, cool. If I actually play... I could probably do decently well biking by now. My my issue is just execution by now. Biking's what? Yep. He's also a fun play style that I like using, which is hyper rushdown. I like characters that are quote creative with their mix up options or like expressive. Anyways, I'm not, we've not seen Burst Rush yet. Wait, is this still called Burst, burst Rush or Meteor Burst? Okay. No, Burst Rush is uh, ult Ultimate Gohan's move. Woo! And Annihilate. Fuck yeah. Zappa is wacky, possessed dude, and Abba is girl that hasn't returned. Oh, yeah, okay. So I was thinking about Zappa then. Man, just weird looking back at all the old guilt. I have a thing to say to you guys. Okay, I don't talk about... Obviously, with these Let's Plays, I feel like I don't talk about... About myself too much often anymore, weirdly enough. Um, I actually used to be pretty big into Guilty Gear's lore, like back in 2009-ish. Um, the I just never really got into Exard and didn't play that story because I felt like I was kind of being. I think I was like had a bit of a Celtic Fears idea where I felt like if I wasn't able to do like if I was able to compete, I couldn't make content for the game, and I was still kind of like trying to make content for whatever I could back then. So I never really played too much into it. I'm sure in these days I could probably do half decently if I put the time into it. I don't know. I feel like I have execution errors and peer pressure, even in fucking Strive, where like he could fall asleep and do everything pretty optimally. All right, defeat two fierce opponents. Opponent key constantly recovers. That sounds interesting. Also, we got a new move to use. Actually, we got a couple new moves. We have not used that. I can imagine what explosive wave it is. Let's see. Calamity Blaster. Um, I'll dig your grave. Yeah, we got a few things to show up before we actually move on. Holy fuck. Um, which one is it? No, I think we're good. Cool. Yeah, it's a fucking shame because I'm pretty sure Turl is that does actually come back in future guilty. Uh, oops. And future Dragon Ball games with Xenoverse 2. Um, I don't know people have talked about this before in chat. I just always keep forgetting stuff. Alright. Wait, do I have to beat them all in a certain time limit? 
Oh yeah, right. I used to be big into Guilty Galore. That's what I was talking about. Ooh. Interesting. Oops. <clears throat> Dropped that by accident. <clears throat> nah. Ooh! Oh yeah, use that against Goku. That's actually result what resulted in the energy wave, funny enough. Yeah, I know that the that man character actually does have a fucking name now, and we've seen his face, which is super weird to think about because I thought he was just supposed to be anonymous the entire time. He started as an actual villain before uh, because he he turned Soul's act Soul Bad Guy's actual wife into a fucking mech uh, justice. But like, I guess it became more of like a neutral leaning good force, and and like even double X. I don't know. There's a lot of the story I've never, I'm actually not privy to whatsoever because I think what's going on back then. I don't actually know. Nope, offhand. Uh, this one. Ooh, that was pretty cool. Hold up. Okay, AI is still all right. Enemy still regenerating key. That's fucking sick looking, Jesus. His name is Asuka? <laughs> the more you know. Are people speculating that he might end up playable in, um, uh, Strive? I swear to God, that was gonna con make contact, I was gonna shit myself. Some somehow I still don't have enough key to do that one. Ew. Oh, that was a sweep. That was fairly. Uh, that was a fairly uh, deceiving animation. Do it again. Yep. That does a good amount of damage when you back it up. Holy fuck. Anyway, uh, fruit of the tree and might. Okay, I'm not sure if it gives you a temporary power up or not. That's invincible, isn't it? Oh, thank God. That man hosts a podcast in outer space. That's a weird fucking statement to just drop out of nowhere with no context. Funny as shit, though. But yeah, I just never actually pick up Exard seriously. At some point, I need to, in order to actually witness the whole story. As well as, you know, dubbed Exard from back in the day. That'd be nice. Again, still wacky with no context.